Nigeria's first participation in the Olympics game was in 1952. And a new story will now be told of how Nigeria first participated, how Nigeria first participated in the Winter Olympics in 2018. Credit must go to this iconic Nigerian women quartet of Cheun Adigun, Ngozi Nwomere, Omega Akwama, and Simidele Omola Adegbo, who enters the history books as the first women to represent Nigeria and Africa in the, Olympic, in the Winter Olympic Games. I've been president of athletics for eight years. I went through this trying to convince Nigerians to come and run for their country. You find them running for the United States. You find them running for the Great Britain. I won't, you find one running for Sweden. What's her name? Is it, is it there or something? You know, all over the globe, we find Nigerians running for them, even in South Africa. But trying to get them to run for this country has been a challenge. Sometimes their parents are the cause of the problem. So when we find four women who voluntarily decide to, I mean, Chen had the opportunity of being of um, doing busler for the U.S. team, but she decided to come home. And I know the pressure I went through with her just to get this going. We do not joke with Nigerians in the diaspora. So as I speak with you, we have a diaspora policy, which is going to take care of what you just spoke about. Is that all the encompassing policy so that we engage the best of our Nigerians in the diaspora. So we have a policy. We also have a diaspora commission. A one-stop agency to deal with diaspora matters. It's been signed into law. We're only waiting for it to be populated. So it shows that I believe that the future lies in Nigerians at home working together with Nigerians in the diaspora. When we achieve that, I'm sure we'll achieve you know, greatness in every sphere of the world. And I want to tell those who say, oh, you still in Nigerians in the diaspora? That is my own job schedule. But apart from that, we're saying that Nigerians at home will work with Nigerians abroad for the glory and greatness of Nigeria. Taking it to Korea in order to represent us the way that we should be represented, the way people should know and believe in Nigeria. Our dedication to what it means to give back to a country that has given us everything that we know as in culture, from our lovely parents to all of our support system, everything that we know has been Nigerian. And what people don't understand is that, yes, we were born abroad. We didn't necessarily choose to be born abroad, but we were born there. And by being born there, they actually harp into us even more what it means to be Nigerian. How much more you need to be able to. I want to give another special thank you again to everyone here. I, I come in before all of you. <laughs> thank you very much for coming. There is nothing that can be done on this earth by yourself, it has to be done with a strong, solid group and foundation of people, and that foundation cannot be set without these lovely people that you see here today, so I'm so grateful. Thank you, guys. I want to thank you again to all of our sponsors for coming in. Quasi Sports, thank you so much for coming in and also being a part of what Nigerians can now see. We've got Child of Star, we've got KLM coming in to make sure that people can get there, but for those who can't get there, you know, they can tune in and watch, and we can celebrate ourselves the same way, no matter what, no matter where we are. So thank you to our lovely parents, you know, those that are here, those that who are not here. It wouldn't be without you, without you, without the upbringing that you've given us, is how we can stand here today and be able to make you proud. We can only be a reflection of what we came from. And so what you guys see here is what was produced from this lovely country of Nigeria. So everyone else who has supported this, this dream, this vision, through the challenges, through the, the blessings, we wouldn't have it any other way. There's no trailblazing tr um, track that's going to be easy. And when we all entered this, we knew that that was what it was going to be. And even in times when we could have broken, that shows you the strength of what it means to be a Nigerian. Right, yeah, 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 y
Hey, shut up, shut up.